Hello everyone. Um, today I am working on finishing up these uh, these wheels and refurbishing them. Uh, as you can see, the rims are in a pretty poor state. So what I'm going to be doing is going um, over these with a, uh, a, wire, um, a wire wheel to get the worst of the uh, rust off the top um, and then uh, doing a um, going over that with some uh, very fine wire wool and then polishing it up. Um, so hopefully it will look almost, uh, well, more, more like new than it does at the moment. So I'll just get you in the tripod and um, yeah, I'll get started. Oh, and that's the cat. Hello, cat. Meow. Where are you? Hello, Mia. Mia. Oh, you come to watch. Oh. Right, well let's get started then. When using a wire brush, always wear a mask and always wear goggles. Looking better, but there's some really bad patches which, well, the plating's come off altogether. So I won't be able to recover those. But I'll keep polishing them up. The inside of the rims also need attention. The water has got in and it's rusted between the rim tape. So this will need good clean. So this is what the rim tape looks like on the inside. Absolutely coated in rust off the rims. Oh yeah, absolutely disgusting. Probably the original rim tape because uh, well, almost certainly the original rim tape. It's got the original uh, rally inner tubes as well. There we go. Rally, rally. Inner tubes. 
and a six one five eight three eights yeah three eights <laughs> oh. made in Holland is looking a lot better now still tons of rust but I can go over that with a, a fine wire brush so I can get right in the gap and see how much more I can take off Wow, it's amazing what you can find under the rust. And I've seen that without cleaning that off. Hopefully, well, I'll clean off a bit further and see if it's, you know, any more serious. Don't want the wheels to collapse underneath me, but well, We'll see. Right, I'm going to be servicing these hubs now. The uh, rims have all been nicely cleaned up. I mean, they could do with another polish, but they'll do for now. And um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, get these uh, axles out, remove the bearings, clean up the hubs, put new new bearings in um and reassemble everything uh, i've put the the wheel on on top of a a vice um just while working it's not clamped in but underneath i've put a magnetic tray so when i take the uh when i take the uh, axle out the any bearings that fall out will fall into the tray and that's the idea anyway You know, when the guy told me that this bike was too good to scrap, sometimes I do wonder if he was having me on. Oh my goodness. 
that took some doing. But at least the threads don't look stripped or damaged. Oh, gross. Oh my goodness. Oh, the state of that axle. That needs a severe clean. And inside, it is just rust and dirt. No wonder the front wheel was stuck. Yeah, overdue for a service. Well, I can honestly say that this is the worst hub I've ever serviced. Yeah, not great. Looking better. Well, we're going to have to leave it there for this week. Unfortunately, I don't have the right size bearings in stock at the moment. Um, I have one quarter inch bearings and five thirty second inch bearings. Um, however, these front hubs take uh, three sixteenth in inch bearings. Um, the five thirty second inch ones um are right for the uh for the headset and the quarter inch bearings are right for the bottom bracket but i um i need to order some more um of the right size so what i'm going to do i'm going to order 
three thirty seconds inch, three sixteenth inch, and one eighth inch bearings as well. Um, might as well get everything in stock. One of these rulers, this is a park tool spoke length gauge ruler, um, which has very handily uh, cotter pin sizes. So you stick the cotter pin through the hole and the largest hole that it'll go through, uh, well, the smallest hole that it'll go through is the uh, is the size you want. So on this bike, it takes a nine and a half mil size, but bearings for this uh, front hub, they are three sixteenth inch. And look how mucky that is. There you go. Some of them are so rusty, they can barely get through unless you really push. So, yeah. So I'll get those ordered and uh, we'll carry on uh, next week. Uh, thank you again uh, for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please do put them in the comment section below. Um, yeah, please do like and subscribe. It all, all helps. And um, hit that bell notification if you um, want to know as soon as the next part comes out. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye.